Alright guys, this is me uh, editing a wedding and I'll go talk through it as I'm doing it. Actually, I already did it, but I'm talking through it now. I'm raising the exposures here a little bit. I am raising the shadows. So what I try and do is I try and get these as quickly as possible, but the best way possible. So sometimes what I do is I go through them all and I mark them as a red flag on them. So you can see the little red squares on them and I uh, edit those. Sometimes I don't do that and I just start editing. But uh, what I'll do is I'll edit one, I will copy the settings, and I'll apply them to the next one. If I took the photos consistently, then the next one should be similar to the last one, and that way it's easier to edit. Sometimes I, uh, like right here what I'm doing is I'm straightening out the picture, and uh, I take a lot of pictures, and I think that the, like right here what I'm doing is I created a copy of it, and I turned this into like a mat. I think for this wedding I edit, ended up editing about 1200 photos so it's a lot of photos so here I am adding a little bit this is and I I uh, edit them to the way I like not everybody likes this and some people like uh, more of the matte looks and all that and that's fine I, that's their style uh, I try to remain consistent using the same presets throughout all of my weddings so that the bride and the groom or anybody that's hiring me for any kind of photo can know that this is what their photos are going to look like these are this is this look is not going to be some different random i'm going to try a film look this is the way that it is so here i am uh, raising exposure straightening out i uh i'm using capture one pro i have these styles these presets that are made the main preset that I use, I call it Core, and I pretty much made it up for myself. Um, here again, I'm editing these and straightening these out. These are all the getting ready portion of it, as you can tell. So what I'll do is I'm going to fast forward the next few minutes of the, uh, the getting ready portion. Okay, guys? All right. Okay, so here we are doing the details. It's really difficult to find a place to do details, especially this apartment. I wish I had a GoPro set up on my camera the way I've been doing the last few weddings for this wedding because you would have seen how difficult it would have been to take pictures here. This here is a couch. It's uh, the best place I could find uh, for pictures. And luckily, a lot of the shots are going to be really close up like this, so it's not easy to tell it's a couch although it's not difficult to tell it's a couch here is the the only place I could find for a dress some more makeup shots uh, that I got but now we're going into the uh, the portion of the wedding where we went to the the reptacular ranch it's this place up in Silmar California so they have these little trailers out there that are super tiny uh, you can't really do much in there so we went outside and we got some of these shots tying up the dress with the maid of honor and such and so we here I am changing up the settings um, I tend to give a lot of pictures like I said so if I like a picture I'll turn it into black and white things like that right here I'm straightening out the picture so I am going to then now show you this part of the wedding where it was uh, the first look and it was also difficult to find where to do that and uh, there's this one spot that had a little bit of shade the back is blown out like you see but that was the best spot it was the middle of the day uh, this is just one camera's uh, shots so the wide angle which is not going to be shown is uh, you know encompassing more of the shot you can see more of it but here you can see him looking lovingly or uh something at his bride and uh, i think it's funny this is this is this was a funny couple uh, so here they saw each other already but trust me i got the shot uh next time i'll take the time to edit this video a little bit better or a little bit more uh, detailed and you'll see those shots 
So like I said, I turned some black and white and now I'm going to fast forward through the rest of these, okay guys? All right. All right, so now here we are at the bridal uh, portraits. So Reptacular Ranch is really nice, especially when the sun's setting, it's nice soft lighting. So here you can see some shots. Like I said before, this couple is one of the funniest uh, couples I've had. So it was really easy to photograph them. And you know, I changed the settings on the first one and you can see I changed them there, but if, I did my job correctly or for to make it easier for myself I would have taken like I said a consistent exposures consistent pictures throughout the whole session throughout the whole part of the wedding so I'll copy one uh, settings the the from one and then I'll paste it onto the other sometimes they're a little different like right here I am changing the exposures a little bit and then I'll mark that red see I just marked it red so I'll copy that and then I'll find the next one I'm gonna edit, which is that one. I will, uh, that one I'll paste the setting. I like that. Maybe I'll make a few corrections. And I duplicated it and now I'm going to make it into a mat. So I do this throughout the whole wedding. I try and be as consistent as possible to make it as easy as possible to edit this when uh, it's time to edit. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest now. I uh, kind of skipped around. This is only my second video ever, guys. But here was more of that other session where the bridesmaid was uh, helping her put her dress on. And I'm going to get some shots of her. Uh, by herself I took the time since uh, the groom wasn't there yet so I took the time to take full portraits of her so what I'll do right now is I'll fast forward so you can see some of those portraits the results of this location with a blown out background all right guys We're here, back to more editing. I'm basically almost done with this. So look here, this picture, these are the settings I have here. And so I have this mouse, it's a Logitech, what is this, G900. Programmed one of the buttons to copy the settings from this picture, and then I'm gonna apply it to this picture. Why this picture? Because I already flagged it as red, Rotate it. This one, I'll lower this a little bit. I'll take this away. I will duplicate that and I will turn that duplicate one into a black and white with a little bit of a mat. So then I keep going. Add it to that. Some of these pictures look virtually the same. I, I get it. I understand that. That, uh,. Maybe giving all these pictures isn't the, the thing that everybody does, but they look slightly different. And to me, it's going to take me, what, a uh, few extra seconds to edit a few more pictures, and they'll have those pictures. Uh, if they're the kind of couple that don't want that many pictures, then you shouldn't edit this many. Just pick out the absolute best ones. But like a smile, for example. If a smile is a little crooked, a little different, who am I to say that picture isn't as good? Maybe maybe they like that cricket smile a little bit, right? I don't know. That's kind of the way I see things. So here's a funny one. I think I'll turn that into black and white. That's funny too. I'm gonna show you uh, these other pictures I edited just so you can see like, a whole gallery. <clears throat> I used three cameras that day, so these are the ones that I did for this camera. 
I guess I should slow down and let it load a little bit, right? Uh, or slow down a lot to let it load. You can see uh, it takes a while to load. So there's a lot of different pictures, some close-ups. Oh, why I shouldn't have this one here? Take off the red tag because then I'll export it. And then some here. I cropped a little tighter on these. Dog in the background. It's kind of funny. She loves that dog. And here's the other camera. Let me see. They're already sorted by color tag. Got the shoes. More shoes. Lots of pictures of the shoes. Jewelry. Got some close ups. The dress. Some more makeup shots. And uh, I got a lot of mag, I got a lot of black and white. It's just I like to give a lot of pictures. So you can see here we got some shots of her. She's really funny, so I think she'll like all these funny pictures. Shoes. There was a first look uh, sequence with the other camera with the wider angle, so I got better looks with that because that's the one that I use. But here is a few. These are really nice. This place is called Reptacular Ranch. It's really nice. I really like this area. Uh, I'll go back to editing some. Um, if you're going to have a wedding, I suggest you look at that place because it is really nice and it's really affordable, I hear and they have animals if you're into that kind of thing the this couple had a camel come out that was pretty cool so i have what this much scrolling to do before i'm done with this so i'm going to try and finish that tonight export them tonight then i have to keep working on a maternity session that i started the other night and the first ever video i created so I'll come back to this and I'll show you uh, the results of this whole gallery. All right, uh, I'm about to finish this wedding. I think just a little bit more. So I'm gonna speed through this and you guys will see how I work on a wedding. I already pre-marked this, so these are all red. I, there's a button on my mouse that says uh, turn it red, so then I know what to go back and work on. I know there's all kinds of other ways, uh, ratings, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, five stars, but I do it this way. I think it's more simple. It's either a yes or a no, I'm gonna edit it or not. I, I do tend to over edit. That's just the way I've always done it. So I'm just gonna speed through these. Right now I'm applying the setting from photo to photo. You can see, and I really think that uh, the couples appreciate having more photos. This one can use a little warmth. Looks like I didn't quite get the focus right. So maybe I'll turn this one into like a black and white. Like a vintage black and white. That looks pretty good. Maybe. Actually, I think I can make this a little better. Oh, not that. Let's get rid of that. The uh, gradient. That looks good. And then make everything else a little darker. Just there you go. I think I like that. I like that too. Turn it upside right. Put a little more warmth into this. If I push Z. It's supposed to straighten it or rotate freehand. I like to do it that way. I think it's a little too green. Oh man. Push that again. A little warmer. 
A little darker. No, too warm. Less contrast, boost this up. I think that's pretty good. Copy those settings, apply them to this photo. Straighten that out a little bit. Straighten that out a little bit. And now I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna speed through this. I think I need to add a little bit more um, open up the shadows a little bit here if, uh, capture one we'll start doing it here we go just a little bit let's see how that looks maybe a little bit more oh that's too much right that's good Turn this into a little nice black and white. There we go. I think the idea is here to try to work on these quickly, but still give it the attention they, they need. I mean, there's a lot of photos, wedding photographers. I know you have a lot of pictures to go through, and a lot of you are going to be using Lightroom. It's where I started. It's easy it's uh, got a ton of presets i really like the slr lounge uh, presets i actually started with those photos with those presets but uh i do find that capture one gives me nicer edits faster like i can get to where i want to be faster uh as far as the looks that go oh these are going to be a little harder to edit because it was getting dark and I didn't want to use my flash here very much because last time I used flash on animals like this they got really scared and it was it wasn't a good situation although last time I did it was with horses I don't know how a camel would react so I you know I cranked up my ISOs a little bit they were moving too so it's not like I can just put it at 2.8 or 1.4 or anything like that so I was trying to capture and of course the colors get a little wonkier when you don't use the flash uh, there you go now it gets a little too bright I'm gonna crop this a little bit get rid of that trash can sometimes like, you know, weddings, they happen, and you have to adjust, and you have to keep going. You just don't have time to move people or trash cans. You have to do it and go and go, because if not, you'll miss the shot. So here I am trying my best not to miss the shot. So I think that's good. Finish loading here. It's, uh, there it is, okay. That looks good. So I'll copy the settings, but I'm gonna go to adjustments, copy, and not use the, uh, where is it? Not use the composition, because I don't want my next picture to be cropped. No, I don't like that one. Back to Z. Okay, now my flashes are pointed towards the middle of the dance floor. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. That looks pretty good. That looks good. Doing that. Okay, so they did a Bollywood dance. I don't know how many of you have ever photographed a Bollywood dance in kind of almost darkness. 
with the only things illuminating your your everything are like this video light over here that the videographer was using and my light here which I should have put over here but it's fine there and these little twinkly lights this has a gel on it too to try and mimic uh, you know the color of these little twinkly lights but here we are let's see here that looks good Um, let's see, does that look good? Maybe it looks a little bluish. Maybe like right there. Alright, so I think this is a good, good. Now the next few pictures for this whole dance should be the same. Now I'm only working on one camera right now. I'm working on the camera that had the uh, 24 to 70. And I already edited the ones that were from my 70 to 200, which gave me some really cool shots. But right now I'm doing these. So when we come back, I will show you the result of all of them, okay? Thanks. Forever, but I'll skip around, take some. This is the de these are the detail shots. Maybe I should skip around a little bit more. Uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, let's see. This is part of the the first look. Portraits. More portraits. There was a lot of portraits. There was a lot of uh, family. Some uh, makeup shots getting ready oh, more makeup uh, bridesmaids helping her this is like a matte version of the photo oh this is cute uh, the henna tattoos let's see here this is part of the first look these pictures are mixed up I do organize them for people, more portraits. Let's see here. This is part of the ceremony. Now, this was a, a difficult ceremony. I mean, it's always a little difficult when it's outside, but you can tell there's a lot of sunlight coming in. But, you know, you do your best to expose for the face, and I think I did a pretty good job. This too, although her eyes are closed there, probably don't want that one. Uh, so you do here the sun's right in her face so she's being a real trooper with the sun right on her face but you try to expose now this is a little harder because obviously the sun's hitting her but not him so there's two different exposures there but you do the best you can and the photos came out nice this is part of that Bollywood uh, dance scene that I had shown you this was done with my close-up lens so I think these people they're moving really fast so I think these came out super nice now uh, you can't tell here but it was pretty dark and I used my flash to illuminate a large portion of this uh, let's see more dancing in here there's a lot of wide shots for the dancing too the speeches Let me see, more speeches. There's 1,200 photos, so not every photo is gonna have the best lighting or this or that. Oh, this is pretty cool. The bagpipes, I, I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Um, but here, you do uh, the best you can, and that's all you can really do, and if the people usually will hire you because you've done the best you can and the work that you've done in the past, so these, pictures are like those pictures so they should like these so here you, there's a dog in the back here it's a super cute dog um so yeah i hope you enjoyed these guys and thank you for watching